In today's episode, we are diving into something that's been sparking a lot of talk, the Cybertruck. This vehicle is possibly the most debated model Tesla has ever made. But there's something important we need to talk about. The sales numbers for the Cybertruck are dropping a lot this year. So far, Tesla has only delivered about 10,000 units, which is a big difference from the nearly 40,000 units that were sold last year. Could it be that people are losing interest in this truck? Before we go deeper, welcome to Amp Drive, your home for all things Tesla, robotics, and future technology. If you love staying ahead with the latest news in electric vehicles and innovations, make sure to subscribe and join the Amp Drive family. Your support means a lot and keeps us going with more updates like this one. Now back to the Cybertruck. One big reason why people are not buying it is because of its massive size. A lot of potential buyers are saying they just do not have enough space to park or store such a large truck. Of course, many also point to the Cybertruck's unique and rather strange design. It stands out in a big way, which not everyone finds appealing. It is bulky and big, which works against it for many people who live in cities or places with tighter streets. But let us not forget the biggest issue, its price. The cost of the Cybertruck is just too high for most regular customers. Even the most basic version starts at close to $70,000. The price and the design together are the two main reasons why interest in the Cybertruck is falling. If things keep going this way, some believe it could become Tesla's most risky product yet. Let's be honest though. Here at Amp Drive, we are huge fans of Tesla and we do have a soft spot for the Cybertruck. But even so, we have to be real. Tesla is not the kind of company that just watches a product fail. They will do something to turn things around. And that's exactly what they're trying now. To make the Cybertruck more affordable for everyday people, Tesla recently introduced a smaller and cheaper version. This new model is priced at around $49,990 similar to or even less than a Model 3. So, what exactly does this new version come with? And how did Tesla manage to bring the price down? Let's explore the details. While the Cybertruck's look continues to divide opinions and the high cost keeps pushing some buyers away, its performance on the road, safety in crashes, and toughness are on another level. Many owners who already have one say it feels unlike anything else they have driven. Here are a few random comments we found from Cybertruck owners. And we have to admit, they do have a point. The Cybertruck brings some standout features that no other Tesla vehicle offers, such as the steer-by-wire system. The inside of the vehicle also feels high-end, with a huge center touchscreen that measures about 18 and a half inches. But for most people, the price tag makes it impossible to enjoy these features. They are simply out of reach for the average buyer. Price is not the only limiting factor. Right now, the Cybertruck is only being sold in North America. It has not made its way into Europe or Asia, regions where Tesla usually performs well. The reason again is mostly the size. Many foreign roads are too narrow, and traffic conditions are not suited to such a large and sharp-edged truck. Earlier this year, Authorities in the United Kingdom actually seized one of the early Cybertrucks that was imported. Meanwhile, another one in the European Union had to be changed before it could be driven legally, just to meet safety rules. The hard and pointed body design did not meet local standards. What is interesting is that Tesla already made the Cybertruck smaller than the original prototype before it launched in late November of 2023. The first version was even bigger. Part of the reason they reduced its size was so it could fit through tunnels built by the Boring Company. But even after being made slightly smaller, it is still too large for many international markets. That's why Tesla really needs a much more compact version, and it needs to be a lot more affordable too. Price is everything. And that is exactly what Tesla's Vice President of Engineering, Lars Moravi, confirmed. He said Tesla is planning to release a compact pickup truck possibly as early as next year. He is not the only one who brought this up. Elon Musk himself mentioned the idea back in 2019. He posted on X, saying that a smaller version of the Cybertruck could be released in the future. 
Now let's imagine what this smaller version might be like. First, the size and weight would definitely be changed. Right now, the Cybertruck comes in a few different motor options, but there is only one size. It is about 223 inches long, 95 inches wide, and 70.5 inches tall. The truck bed is 72 inches long and 48 inches wide. Depending on the motor version, the weight is between 6,000 and 6,900 pounds. The smaller version would likely have dimensions more similar to mid-sized trucks like the Ford Ranger or Toyota Tacoma. It might go from 223 inches down to about 210 inches in length, and from 95 inches wide to just 75 inches. It would keep the same height but would have a shorter wheelbase, maybe around 135 to 140 inches. This would make it easier to drive in tight spaces. Even with the reduced size, the ground clearance could still stay high, about 16 to 17 inches, thanks to Tesla's air suspension system. That means it would still be great for off-road driving. One other big change would be the design. This new Cybertruck would not have the same extreme angles and sharp edges. Instead, we expect it to look more like traditional pickups such as the Ford F-150 or Rivian R1T, with smoother and more rounded edges. But Tesla will still use stainless steel for the body, so it will keep its futuristic look. The reason for this design change is simple. Those sharp angles on the current Cybertruck are not just bold, they are also a safety issue. In many places, they are considered dangerous for pedestrians and other vehicles during a crash. A softer design would make it easier to sell the truck in more countries. What do you think about this softer design? Leave a comment and tell us if you would prefer a less aggressive version of the Cybertruck. Now, let us talk about the battery. One of the easiest ways to reduce the price of the truck is by changing the battery system. The current Cybertruck uses a 123 kilowatt hour battery. But the smaller version could go down to something between 75 to 100 kilowatt hours. What is surprising is that even with the smaller battery, the range might still be over 300 miles. How is that possible? Well, when you make the vehicle smaller and lighter, you do not need as much battery power to go the same distance. This new version could weigh around 4,500 to 5,000 pounds. That is about a one-third reduction in weight. When you lose weight, the battery does not have to work as hard, which keeps the range high. Right now, Tesla uses its special 4680 battery cells in all Cybertruck models. These batteries are a big deal because they are developed by Tesla itself. But they are also expensive. That raises a question, will Tesla keep using these costly batteries in the cheaper Cybertruck, or will they switch to something else? What do you think? When it comes to performance, this new smaller Cybertruck will probably have just two options a single motor version that produces between 300 to 350 horsepower and a dual motor version that can deliver about 400 to 450 horsepower. Acceleration from 0 to 60 miles per hour would be between 4.5 and 6 seconds. That is enough to go head-to-head -head with other mid-sized trucks. Getting rid of the three-motor setup makes the vehicle easier and cheaper to build. It also means fewer parts to maintain. As for towing and payload, these numbers will be lower than the original Cybertruck, which makes sense because the new one is smaller and has less powerful motors. The new version will probably tow between 7,000 and 8,000 pounds and carry between 1,500 and 2,000 pounds. That is still more than enough for daily use and small trips. Tesla may also cut down on luxury features inside. For example, the massive 18 and a half inch screen could be reduced to a 15 inch one like the Model Y. The rear 9.4 inch screen might be removed entirely. The audio system could go from 15 speakers down to 10. The seats may not be electric and could be made of regular leather. Lights might use basic colors and the window glass could be made simpler, no more shatterproof windows. With all these changes, this version of the Cybertruck is expected to cost at least $20,000 less than the current rear-wheel drive Cybertruck. That brings the price down to about $49,990 or even less if Tesla becomes more efficient in production. 
At that price, it could easily compete with trucks like the Ford Ranger or Toyota Tacoma. This new model, with fewer luxury features and a more compact design, will open Tesla up to a whole new group of buyers, especially those who do not need a full-size truck. These are our best predictions so far. They may not all come true, but they are definitely based on what Tesla is known for, simplifying designs to bring costs down. While Tesla is not yet a leader in making low-cost vehicles, that will likely change with the upcoming Model 2. The Model 2 is said to be a more affordable electric vehicle that could help Tesla gain back market share. Elon Musk confirmed during the second quarter earnings call that this car is designed to be more budget-friendly. While the Model Y serves as inspiration, the Model 2 will be a lot cheaper, maybe 30-35% to 35 less. One prototype spotted in China revealed some interesting details, such as a camera in the front bumper for full self-driving, slightly different headlights, and no more glass roof. Instead, Tesla may switch to a full steel roof, which changes the cost structure. The back screen will also be removed. This mirrors early versions of the Model 3 and Model Y, which did not have back seat screens either. The battery in the Model 2 will likely be a lithium iron phosphate one with a size between 53 and 55 kilowatt hours. The range is expected to be around 220 miles but could go up to 240 miles due to smaller wheels and a lighter frame. The Model 2 will still be a crossover, with four doors and a size close to the Model Y. People definitely want to buy it, it is just a matter of affordability. Elon Musk said clearly that cost is the main barrier, not interest. As Tesla faces growing competition and shrinking government incentives in places like the United States, low-cost models are more important than ever. In the second quarter of 2025, Tesla's revenue dropped by 12% year-over-year to $22.5 billion, and vehicle deliveries fell by 13%. Besides cars, Tesla also plans to shock the world with its humanoid robot, Optimus. This robot has evolved from its early stages and is now approaching its third version. Elon Musk said Optimus version 3 will be the company's most important product. It will be more flexible, more advanced, and able to handle over 3,000 useful tasks. From housework to factory duties, Optimus version 3 could change everything. Tesla will build the first few units of Optimus 3 by the end of 2025, and large-scale production will begin in 2026. Musk believes Tesla might be building 100,000 robots per month by 2030. Optimus version 3 could cost around $20,000, though some say it might be up to $50,000. Still, that is cheaper than paying a worker a yearly salary in many countries. Optimus runs for 8 hours on just 20 minutes of charging and is being trained using Tesla's full self-driving AI system. That is it for today's episode. Let us know what you think about the new compact Cybertruck, the affordable Model 2, and Optimus version 3. Thanks again for tuning into Amp Drive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more news coming your way. Stay safe and see you next time.